Hey guys, Steven here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Blue Wallet. First, I'm going to show you how to install Blue Wallet on your phone, and then I'm going to show you how to generate a Bitcoin wallet using Blue Wallet. And finally, I'm going to show you how to receive and send Bitcoin using Blue Wallet. Let's get started. All right, so to start off, we'll go to Blue Wallet's official website, bluewallet.io. Again, I will leave the URL in the descriptions below for easier access. If you're using iOS, please, please click on the Apple App Store icon. And if, and if you're using Android, please click on the Google Play icon. I'm using an Apple iPhone, so I will click on the Apple icon. We will wait for the app to install and click open. Once inside the app, we're greeted with a very, very simple and easy to understand interface. The wallets part is very simple to understand. It just shows all the wallets that we have. And the transactions section, like on the blockstream green, it just shows all our transactions. Therefore, the first thing we'll do is add a new wallet into the Blue Wallet app. The process is very simple. Simply click on Add Now, and it'll ask us to name our wallet. I will name it again, YouTube Demo. The type of wallet, there are three types, Bitcoin, Lightning, and Vault. Since we're keeping everything simple today, we will pick Bitcoin and we just hit create. Now again, for each Bitcoin wallet, there will be a string of seed phrases for you to write down. So please, when you're creating a wallet and when the seed phrase shows up, make sure that you have a piece of paper and a pen or pencil ready to write down the words. Yeah, just make sure you guys write down the seed phrases in the correct order and don't make any mistakes because if you write down the seed phrases incorrectly, you will lose access to your wallet if you lose the app or your phone. All right, so once we have it written down, just hit OK, I wrote it down. And there we go. The YouTube demo wallet that I just created it shows up at the very top and it shows up as a blue icon because we can spend out of it as well as receive with it. So let's click on the icon and see how it looks like inside the wallet. Again, the one thing that I really like about Blue Wallet is its easy interface. It's super clean, super simple. It's not very confusing. Inside the wallet, there are only four sections, four things to look at. One is our balance. Right now it says zero BTC. And right beneath that, it says transactions. Since we haven't done any transactions yet, nothing's showing up here. And then at the bottom, we have a receive and send button. So the first thing we'll do is we will receive some Bitcoin into our Blue Wallet app. So we'll click on the receive button and the app asks us, have you saved your wallet's backup phrase? This backup phrase is required to access your funds in case you lose this device. Without the backup phrase, your funds will be permanently lost. So this is talking about the 12 word C phrase that we just wrote down. Make sure not to lose it. Now it's asking me, would you like to receive notifications when you get incoming payments? If you want to get a notification from the app every time you receive a payment, we'll just say, okay. And if we don't, we'll just say no and do, do not ask me again. For me, since I don't mind getting a notification from the app, I'll just hit okay. 
and I will allow notifications from Blue Wallet on my iPhone. Now, this is the receive page for our Blue Wallet. We're showing a QR code at the very top. The QR code allows us to share our Bitcoin address without having to copy and paste the string of letters that's, a, that's on the very bottom. However, if the person that you're sending the QR code to doesn't know how to use it, then it kind of defeats the purpose. So the second option is simply to tap on the string of characters that's beneath the QR code, the one that ends in WRF5Y. So we'll click on the text and it'll say copy to clipboard. What we can do now is go to another wallet that has Bitcoin in it and we'll send some Bitcoin to this address. As I mentioned in my other video, in order to make sure that you have copied and pasted the correct Bitcoin address, make sure you memorize the final five letters of your address. So in this case, it's WRF5Y. We'll just copy it again to double check. And we will go into the Blockstream green wallet that we had set up previously. I'm going to log into this wallet and I'm going to send everything from inside this wallet to blue wallet. To do that, I will hit send on the bottom here and I will paste in the address that I just copied. Allow paste. Now I need to double check that I have pasted everything correctly by matching the final five letters. W R F five Y. And I will hit next and I'm going to send all. And again, we're going to ignore the network fee settings because I am making a video about that right now and I should be uploading it very soon. So make sure you subscribe if you want to learn more about fee structures for the Bitcoin network. However, for now, we'll just hit next. I will make sure that the address is correct. Again, WRF5Y and I will slide to send. Yeah, so now the amount in this Bitcoin wallet is, is zero and we have a sending transaction that is currently unconfirmed. Now we'll just switch over to blue wallet and see if we have an incoming transaction over there. Ah, see, we have a pending transaction, ETA 10 minutes. If we refresh here, it'll show that we have Bitcoin coming in and it's pending confirmation. Okay, so I will wait for the transaction to confirm and then I will show you guys how to send Bitcoin out of the blue wallet. So it's been a few minutes and it looks like we now have one confirmation for our Bitcoin transaction. Therefore, now we're ready to do a demo for sending Bitcoin using the blue wallet. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to navigate back to Blockstream Green and and I'm, and I'm going to receive Bitcoin back into this wallet. So what I'll do is I will hit the receive button and copy the Bitcoin address shown here. And this address ends in 3H0RG. So I will copy the address to clipboard, navigate back to blue wallet, I will allow paste and Blue Wallet automatically detects that we have a Bitcoin address on our clipboard and it's asking us, would you like to use it for a transaction? And we'll say yes and click continue. And what it does is it automatically populates the send page by pasting the Bitcoin address that we just copied 
into the address portion below. Now let me show you how it looks like without pasting the address. By clicking send and not pasting the address, you can see that the address bar is empty. And what we need to do is we need to paste our Bitcoin address in. Again, to confirm that we have copied and pasted the correct address, we will match the final five digits of the address. 3H0RG, let's go back and check. 3H0RG, perfect. Once we've pasted the address, we will click on the zero BTC here to input how much Bitcoin we want to send. And as you can see from the keyboard here, Blue Wallet tells us that we have a total of 0 0.0009853 Bitcoin to send. And again, I'm going to send everything. So I'm just going to hit this number and it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to use your wallet's full balance for this transaction? I will click OK. And instead of saying a number, the amount of Bitcoin that's being sent will just say max because that's all the Bitcoin we have. Now, as for the fees, right now it's showing that the fees for the transaction will be 0 0.00001344 BTC, which is essentially 1,344 Satoshis. I don't really want to spend that much on this transaction because I'm not in a rush for it to confirm. Therefore, even though this may look complicated, bear with me and uh, I will adjust the fees for a little bit and get right back to showing you what the next steps are. I'm going to use three Satoshis here. In my next video, I'm going to show you guys exactly what the Bitcoin mempool is and how we should structure our fees so that we never overspend. Now, I'm just going to hit next on the transaction and then it'll show me all the information again. So we're sending 98,203 Satoshis to the address listed below. And we will confirm the five final digits again, 3H0RG. 3H0RG. Once everything is confirmed, we will just hit send now. There we go, check mark, Bitcoin sent, done. Now, in the transactions list here, if we pull down to refresh, it'll show a pending outgoing Bitcoin transaction with zero confirmations. And if we navigate back to the green wallet, we pull down refresh, we should also see an incoming transaction. Oh, it hasn't shown up yet. There we go. Now we see an incoming transaction from the blue wallet back into our green wallet. So there you have it guys. This is how you install the blue wallet app for Bitcoin. And after you install it, how you set up a wallet inside the app and how you can receive and send Bitcoin. If you found this information useful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any feedback, please leave them in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.